Hello all and welcome to vlog number three. I'm still alive. School sucks. Yeah. This is just a little update on some stuff that's been going on with the computers. And yeah, that's about it. We eat vlogs. First off. Oh. Last night. Changed up the pipes back here. Installed both of them. That happened during the last vlog. I just ignored it entirely. So now there's two thicker, more insulated PVC pipes down there cooling it. And then this goes down to underneath Kitty, who's being awesome as usual. He's actually up for once. And that just goes under there to a new one and that one. I think I actually already mentioned I already mentioned that I added a second one, but not that I rebuilt the first one. Uh yeah. The room's actually not a horrendous mess for once because I finally finished that project. Eesh. Um, I'm going to focus on the backup server. If you have any questions about that, I went over a lot of it here. So, click that. No? Okay, fine. Click that. So yeah, still in the closet. Added a fancy light. But, hey look, it's gone. No, it's not. It just moved. So, now it's back here. I just moved it back there because, well, I wanted to. It looked a little bit nicer. So, painted the side panel. Removed a bunch of the stickers, just made it look a little nicer. Works pretty well. Like I said, it for some reason thinks it should have three fans. I have no idea why, but I gave up and just ended up having to buy a $10 fan to replace it. So, yep, that worked well enough. So basically, the way this works now is I get my drive. I stick it in the drive tray and then turn on freakishly bright blue light and while it stopped yelling at me about the uh, fan it still the BIOS is kind of dumb and pulls up a little confirmation saying hey a new drive was plugged in in the BIOS every time you plug in a drive so it'll work okay if that's always in there when it boots but in the event that I accidentally forget to put it in there or I have to boot it without it it will pull up a little thing that says, hey, there's a new drive plugged in. You gotta hit F1 to boot because I'm user friendly. Yeah. So, right now, that little thing right there. Yeah, that's a button. Not gonna push it because it'll stop it, but that's a button. I already booted it with that in last time, so it's fine. But if I had to plug in a different drive or more than one drive or if basically anything changes with the drive, you have to push that to get it to boot and a bunch of cool tech stuff. So yeah, that's about the same. Not much has changed. This is a little bit prettier. That uh, screen and keyboard are gone. They're up there. So yeah, Your laptop that's broken. Bunch of other stuff. About it. And over here, it's still running off of VNC. We'll see, are you started yet? Yes, you are. Can I paste? Yes, I can. There you go. And as soon as it starts up, then it will start backing up. So, yep. And you can see it already finished the ISO backup, which is the two backups from the computers, because I've been testing it and it hasn't actually backed. Th these two haven't actually backed up. So. The ISO backups aren't new, but hey, this looks different. Yeah, so turns out free files. This is free file sync. So works pretty well. Turns out every sync, the one I was using initially, focus, works okay for just syncing like a folder, but for syncing an entire drive, it works pretty badly. Doesn't have any log files. Doesn't actually stop when it's supposed to. Never tells me when it's done takes like six hours to scan something even when they're the same never stops yeah it works okay but not for what I'm using it for at all so yep that's gone <laughs> um, now I'm using free file sync which is gone for some reason and it froze okay well yeah it'll reconnect yep there you go it's back it does that sometimes it's not not perfect, but hey, I don't have to run a second screen out here, so it works well enough. 
so yeah, free file sync. Works pretty darn well. I like it. It gives me a nice little chart that tells me how much it's backing up. And the main thing is, it gives me log files. See this? The log files. And where's the folder? The folder's gone. It deleted the back. Uh, no, whatever. It deleted the shortcut again. This computer hates shortcuts. But it actually gives me a log file for every file it moves, which is really nice. So yeah, that works quite well. And pretty much everything else is the same. This just automatically backs everything up. And then once I'm done, all I have to do is come over here, take out the drive. This is the empty one because you don't take out a drive on a motherboard that doesn't support hot swapping. And stick that back in there. And then I'm good. And then every month it backs up to an extra drive. Put that back in there before I lose it. Yep. So, yep, this one is from Nexstar, I think. Lantech something. I don't know what it's from. Um, it works pretty well. So far it hasn't broken. So, yep. I guess I might as well show that light. So yeah, that's... We phones do not like fluorescent light for some reason. Um, wow, that really doesn't like fluorescent light. What the heck? Okay. So yeah, this is just a tube light, fluorescent light that I got because we had one laying in my garage and we didn't use it. So there are just two normally closed buttons here. And that's just running through some 18 gauge wire, so this thing uses very little power. And there's another one in this corner, and that then just runs up to the little controller back here. And I can turn that off, or I can turn it on, turn it the other on. And that basically just <clears throat> runs in series through both of these. I wonder if that's going to show up in the video. That's weird. If it doesn't, then it looks like I'm just saying a light's weird, but... I'm, I kind of hope that shows up, because it looks like the screen's just completely spazzing out. Okay. Yay, rolling shutter. So, when both of them are closed, it turns off. Pretty simple circuit. It's a little Radio Shack project box. Works well enough, that way I don't have to constantly switch a light on off. And then when I close it, it turns off. There's that. Maybe. Maybe if I open the door, now you can actually see it. Yep. So, I suppose I should correct what it actually is. It's actually a big entertainment center thing with a bunch of CD players and tape players. Basically, everything is broken except for the internal amp. So, that just runs up through here. So, focus, camera. Well, you can probably see that. It just takes an auxiliary input from the computer and then sends it off to the signal for the speaker, which goes into the subwoofer. So, yeah. Why, you can't print that? There's no printer. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Gift from a friend. Cute. Uh, yep. That's... Pretty much it. Still have those speakers there. They haven't fallen off yet. And yep. So that just boots up every Sunday and backs up all the things. Hmm. Did I change anything else? Wall of motherboards is still there. Basically everything else is still there. Pentatonix. Because Pentatonix is awesome. Yay. Uh, yep, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> So, yeah, I have no idea if I'll have any content out anytime soon. School is hard. If so, then maybe a Portal Co-op and maybe some stuff with DLB15 Crafter Cat. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So, yeah, uh, follow on Twitter if you want notifications for assorted things and stuff that's probably more useful than most of these videos. Uh, follow on Twitch if you want to get notifications for streams. That's what I use to stream. Yeti. Yes. <clears throat> like if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have a comment. And subscribe if you like what I do. Thanks for watching. Spin.